jeans. They're kind of like an old friend, and I'm sure you have a few in your wardrobe, as do I, but it might be time to make a few new friends. Denim is actually my best friend, and I think it forms the foundation of my wardrobe, but it can be quite daunting finding the right pair. So we're gonna show you our four favorite looks of the season. Distressed denim is a really fun look, but I'm going to wear it in a more irreverent way. A white button-up shirt and a masculine-style blazer is a nice juxtaposition. The blazer is a great way to disguise those areas that you might not be that confident about. You could almost wear any type of blazer. A tuxedo jacket, steal one out of your boyfriend's closet by all means if you can. I've gone for a more subtle version, but you can buy into this in different ways, depending on what works for you. I've also paired my distressed jeans with a luxe t-shirt. And I love the idea of mixing something more statement with something more basic. We've both decided to dress up our distressed denim by teaming them with quite ladylike pumps. It also elongates the leg. But it sort of feels quite punky the way you're wearing it. Yeah, I think my choice of white stilettos gives it a sort of different edge to it. But I think our outfits would also look great with a pair of sandals or even a loafer. White denim hasn't been the height of fashion since the mid 80s, but they're definitely back this season. I think if you pair it with a very neutral color palette, the white jeans can look super chic, like I've done here with a gray sweatshirt. When choosing a pair of white jeans, always go a size up. I'd never wear my white jeans as, as tight as I would my black skinnies, and probably the same is for you with your red. I think at first glance, actually, colored jeans can be quite intimidating. So what I want to show here is that you can wear them in quite a sophisticated way. I'm wearing a sleeveless embellished top, but this would also look great with a long sleeve version. I think the main thing to remember here is make the colored jean the focal point of your outfit. I've opted to wear mine with a pair of high heels, but I think you could also wear this outfit with a pair of evening flats. A lot of women are apprehensive about boyfriend jeans, but I think the secret to getting them looking great is to go down at least one or two sizes so they just skim the hips. I've teamed mine with a really relaxed boyfriend sweater in cashmere. There's tons in the market right now. They're really versatile and they're great for an off-duty look. The boyfriend is actually my favorite jean shape because I like to offset the slouchier shape with something that's more fitted. I'm wearing a printed jacket. That was a really big trend this season. And there's other great options, depending on if you want to go with color, or if you want to be more monochrome. It always looks great if you roll up the cuff and you're exposing the thinnest part of your leg, which is your ankle. So leave at least an inch between the bottom of your roll up and the top of your shoe. Personally, I love high-waisted denim jeans but they're also made out of a really nice thick fabric so it really holds you in. I've opted for a really classic striped knit and a biker jacket. They're both ongoing seasonless classics. What's so great about your outfit too is that you can wear it both day and night. I've opted very much for a daytime look and my skinny jeans are in a medium blue and they have quite a lot of stretch in it. So my advice here is to actually go down a size because they're gonna give quite a lot. I also have paired it with a blouse and it's a more feminine option to a t-shirt. There's some really beautiful styles this season with stripes or even in a more pajama style. Hopefully we've shown you that denim can be a key staple in your wardrobe for now and for seasons to come. How you wear it is up to you.